I decided to become a dentist when I was about 10 years old. I was uh, misbehaving and not listening to my mom and I was playing with sticks and my little friend was much, much better at it than I was. And I got whacked in the mouth and broke all of my front teeth. It was a big bloody mess. Um, of course, crying mom, crying kid, she rushed me to a dental office and um, I was very lucky because the office that she took me to really took a lot of time to A, first calm everybody down um, and then they just really took good care of me. I could tell that they, they were upset too that I'd broken my front teeth and um, you know, they helped me through all of that, helped rehabilitate my smile and it was just a really good experience and I think that's really where my dental path started. My worst subject in school by a long shot was uh, spelling. I am horrible at it. I will say though, in my defense, that I did start school in another country in another language. Thank goodness for smartphones. <laughs> I went to UF and so there's a big dental complex there and so we were encouraged to shadow the different departments and I was really really excited. I'd been done operative, I've done the prosthodontic clinic and the next one up was oral surgery. They asked me, are you, are you, are you afraid of blood? Does it make you squeezy? And I said, well no, because you know I'd seen blood, I'd seen scraped knees and I'd watch those videos on TV and so I thought no I'm fine. So I go in, pumped, I'm excited, watched my first procedure and then I woke up with everybody standing over me. I think that you can pick up a lot of pearls and a lot of tips and techniques really throughout the whole course of your career. So from my dental school professors, Dr. G especially, um, to the first uh, practice that I worked at, um, he really taught me a lot about how to interact with patients and, and, and he just had an overall nice demeanor all the way to, there's actually a famous dentist, believe it or not, there are famous dentists, um, and they have a lot of CE classes and so I just try and you know expose myself to that as much as possible. If I was not a dentist, I would be an organic chemist. I always found it fascinating. It was my, one of my favorite subjects in undergrad and um, I just think it would be an interesting career path.